GameMax is a newer company that is not present on all markets, however its products have been available in Europe for a while now. And in this review we have the GameMax Ice Chill 240 ARGB, an all-in-one liquid CPU cooler that uses a 240mm radiator to 120mm fans with a unique design and plenty of RGB LEDs. All this being said, we shall see if it's better than the generic RGB liquid CPU coolers we keep seeing all the time. The GameMax iChill 240 is an all-in-one liquid CPU cooler, which sports a unique fan design and a lot of addressable RGB LEDs. And that's not all, as the CPU block has an infinity mirror design and again, more addressable RGB LEDs. The iChill 240 can be found for around 100 US dollars or euros at the time of this review. The pricing will vary based on your location and the retailer you choose, so do your homework beforehand. But in general, I have seen the CPU cooler go for 100 US dollars. The highlight of the Ice Chill 240 is the design, and we start with the included 120mm fans. These have an open frame design, which is a trend started by EVG and their all in one liquid CPU coolers. In simple terms, half of the fan frame is missing and the edges of the impellers are exposed. How good this design is for performance remains to be seen. For RGB, these fans have two sets of addressable RGB LEDs, an outer ring and an inner ring, and no, the impellers are not illuminated even though they appear to be in the promotional photos. However, these fans have one tiny issue, well, issue, it's more a design choice. You see, these fans can only be installed one way on a radiator, as the fan frame is shaped this way. Also, you see these silver things, you might think that they are thumb screws made for easy removal of the fans, but they're not. They are in fact plastic caps that cover the actual screws of the fan and these screws are unfortunately a custom size, which means that if you lose them, you will have a bad day. Fortunately, some thought has been put into these fans, as on the back side of the fan frame we find four rubber pads that will dampen the vibrations, so there's that at least. From a technical standpoint, these fans have a maximum speed of 1900 rpm and a minimum speed of 800 rpm. The speed can be controlled through software or a fan hub. The CPU water block is simple, it has a rounded shape with a piano black glossy texture that is a fingerprint magnet, but this is the usual these days. The highlight of this CPU block is the infinity mirror at the front that sports the GameMax logo and an RGB ring. The light pattern that results from this is good and will match any system configuration you want. The base plate of the CPU cooler is made from solid copper and has a smooth surface that will ensure a good contact with the surface of the CPU. This copper base plate is attached to the pump and water block assembly with no less than 8 star screws. The radiator used on the Ice Chill 240 is a standard 240mm radiator made from aluminum. What this radiator has that is different is an air bleeding port. This port is nothing new and has been widely implemented on all in one like CPU coolers, however using it will void your warranty so keep that in mind. The tubing of the Ice Chill 240 has braided sleeving protecting it. These tubes are connected to the radiator using simple fittings while on the CPU block side the fittings used are made from plastic and can swivel to aid with the installation of the CPU cooler and ease the tension of the tubing. One of the drawbacks of this CPU cooler is the sheer number of wires and connectors. The water block has a simple cable with two connectors, each fan has two cables with two connectors, and you're supposed to work with all of them and hide them as well, somehow. Now that we know what this CPU cooler is, let's see what's included with it. The packaging is good for the most part, with a cardboard tray holding the cooler in place. Included we have a user manual, two back plates, one for multiple sockets and another for the new Intel LGA1700 socket, two sets of mounting bars, a tube of thermal compound, a SATA to 4 pin adapter, an RGB header adapter for gigabyte motherboards, two sets of spring loaded thumb screws and the rest of the mounting system and these are mostly just screws for various applications. The installation of the CPU cooler is easy, at first anyway. You take the back plate and then adjust the yellow parts. Make sure that the four threaded inserts are set to your socket. Then place the back plate to the back of the motherboard. On the CPU cooler side, you get the correct mounting bars and secure them on the CPU cooler with the smaller Philips screws. Afterwards, apply the thermal compound on the CPU and place the CPU water block over it. And here is where things get 
irritating. You need to use the spring-loaded thumb screws to secure the water block to the back plate. However, you have no way to guide these screws apart from your hand, so no spacers, no guides of any kind are included. This means that with one hand you will have to hold the CPU water block in place, while with the other hand you will try to screw each of the thumb screws into the small threaded inserts of the back plate. All this with the CPU cooler hanging to the side, and all this while trying to keep the water block straight so that you don't smear the thermal compound. It's not hard, it's just annoying, especially if your system is upright. And with this CPU cooler installed in the testing system, we get to see why the Game Max Ice Chill 240 is appealing to many, the way it looks. While many CPU coolers have addressable RGB LEDs nowadays, the Ice Chill 240 has two sets of LEDs that work independently of each other, which gives more detail to the overall look of the CPU cooler and the system it's installed in. Before we head into the performance and testing of the CPU cooler, you will get to hear two noise samples, one with the pump and the other with the fan. I am doing this because while a decibel value is useful for comparison, it does not consider other noise sources, such as the fan bearing, vibrations and so on. The pump used on this CPU cooler has a constant maximum speed of 2500 rpm and must be powered directly from the power supply. The two 120mm fans that are used on the Game Max Ice Chill 240 have a maximum speed of 1900 rpm. Right now, you will hear the fans going from a 0 rpm range to their maximum. With two 120mm fans running at a maximum speed of 1900 rpm, the Game Max Chill 240 reached a maximum noise output of 42 decibels, with the measuring device placed at a distance of 10 cm away from the CPU cooler. Not a bad result from such a CPU cooler that uses two 120mm fans on a radiator with almost 2000 rpm of speed. The testing of all CPU coolers unless otherwise stated is done using an Intel i9-9900K CPU which is running at both its factory turbo boost frequency and then it is overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores. The ambient temperature is set at 26 degrees Celsius throughout the entire testing. The first test uses the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark, a synthetic benchmark that places a load onto the CPU that is similar with what a modern video game will do with the CPU given the chance. And in this test, the Game Max Ice Chill 240 reached a maximum temperature of 67 degrees Celsius with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores and 57 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at factory settings. A good result for such a gamer inspired CPU cooler. However, the next test is where each CPU cooler is tested to its limits, as this test uses the system stability test of the AIDA64 Extreme software. This benchmark places an unrealistically high load on the CPU, something which you will rarely if ever encounter in your daily usage. In fact, the only CPU load that comes close to this is heavy video rendering using the CPU as the only rendering unit. And in this test, the Game Max Ice Chill 240 reached a maximum temperature of 88 degrees Celsius with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores and 67 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at factory settings. Seeing this, we can agree that the Game Max Ice Chill 240 is a capable CPU cooler, even with an overclocked 9900K CPU. However, while the performance is good, the price isn't. At 100 US dollars, you can get the Be Quiet Pure Loop 240, which is a superior CPU cooler in every single way, from the way it's been built, the mounting system, and the included fans. This does not make the Game Max Ice Chill 240 a bad CPU cooler, it's not, it offers a good performance for a gaming system, but the pricing makes it a not so good value product. There are other issues as well. The fans are unique but are only usable in a push configuration and the fact that they are using custom screws adds insult to injury. The cable clutter is also a thing that shouldn't exist, especially with the advancements in both cable routing from the factory and daisy chain systems for the fans. The build quality is good 
good, even though most of the cooler is made from plastic apart from the radiator. The mounting system is easy to use apart from the fact that you have to fiddle with the thumb screws to line them with the motherboard. The GameX Ice Chill 240 though is a CPU cooler that came to the market in a bad time, where shipping pricing is off the charts and pricing as a whole for everything is up. If you can get it for under 80 US dollars or less, then it's worth a buy. More than that and you have better options to choose from that makes this cooler a bad purchase. If you like this review then you might consider subscribing for more and if you want to support me in a direct way then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Star pages of this channel.